someone said it here, you know, I think context was very important. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Context. It's, it's got to be tailored to our, what our people really need. Yeah, sure. You know? Like, I, I, like just recently, last week, I was talking to one of these developers. He, you know, he's from Malaysia. And he was talking about the boy ban. He said, what are you doing banning boy? And I'm like, the cleanliness. We're going to keep the place clean. It breeds all these petty criminals. And he's like, go to Indonesia that you have to buy a permit to sell boy from an actual little kiosk. So there's little portable things you can yeah. carry around. Formalize it. You can't. You literally have to have a permit every time you go to the government. They pay the government, all right, here's 100 bucks for a, operate, a license to operate in this area. And you go in there, you, you get presented with your boy. You can only chew and eat within that, within the vicinity of that, yeah. that space. The moment you step out from that vicinity, you're going to be fine. You're, and it's got everything from stomach to wash your mouth to... You know, they give the boy and they clean, you know, it's like all the hygiene, all the rubbish, everything goes straight into that little bin that's in that space. And the little, these boy kiosks all over the place, you know, stands all over the place. So it's kept clean, it's maintained, the money generated from that goes back to maintaining the whole area, yeah, right? Like, it's crazy. And I was like, what the heck, man? Like, this in places in Asia, right? You know? And now it dawned on me, like, you're right. We can't. We can't just stop people selling boys. Yeah. Everyone eats boys. These I mean, people that's, get that's good money from boys. That's they, a sustainable development idea. There you go. Sustainable.